Hello everyone, welcome or uh, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about how to dress up or down in a rush and this is a phenomenon that I feel very familiar with. I come from Copenhagen, Denmark, but I live in Zurich, Switzerland, which I would argue is a very preppy city. It's kind of like a business hub, a lot of finance people working here. You'll see a lot of people in suits, dress shoes and other business attire. And so I feel like the city has this like balance of casual and preppy and this is something I find myself having to balance out throughout the day and night depending on what I'm doing and also where I am going. I mentioned the word balance already and I think that is probably the key word because a lot of the time I won't go full casual or full preppy. I'll somewhat be in between. That is where I am the most comfortable and that's also where I feel like my personal style rests more. And if we're just gonna make like a total basic uniform for that, which would be what I wear the most, it'll be some sort of fitted long sleeve t-shirt, so just like a regular casual top and jeans. If it's cold, you can substitute the t-shirt for a fitted sweater, but it's basically the exact same construct. Now with this basic uniform, I can either dress it up or down, of course, with my shoes, accessories, and also the jacket that I choose to throw over. I am a huge boot person, so this is like a no brainer for me. I almost always feel most comfortable in a boot. You can find me out and about in a sneaker every so often, but it's quite rare. For me, the balance with the jeans, which in my opinion is kind of a casual wear. Pairing it with the boots sort of balances it back to the preppy side. And then from here, I will put on some sort of jacket. To take this to a more preppy look, I will add a blazer. And on the other end of that spectrum, if I wanted to make it more casual, I would add a more casual jacket, like uh, this wool one that I have, and you could even at like a classic moto leather jacket. Here again, it's sort of like a preference to how preppy or how casual I or you would want to go. If you like the full casual uniform that you personally like to start out with, then you would prefer adding a blazer, but then it's too preppy for you, you can add the sneaker instead. The reason I just don't do that is because I just don't like it. Something I will, however, wear a sneaker for if I do feel like that extra casual balance for a day, it will usually be when I'm wearing my dress pants. I have a couple of pairs of dress pants and I do really like wearing them, but sometimes if I wear them with my boots, then I feel like my balance gets thrown over to the too preppy side and that's not always what I'm going for. And then I will actually wear my sneakers. So I consider my basic uniform quite casual on its own and then it's what I add to it that makes it less so. Now that I'm standing in some sort of variation of that, knowing already that I'm probably going to prefer wearing boots and at the very least like a casual top, maybe a blazer, Something else I also like to swap in is an A-line skirt. Here is something even more preppy or business-like or dressing up like would probably be a longer lined skirt. But as someone with a pretty small wardrobe, this is the only types of skirts that I have right now. And since I do feel that this length is a little bit more casual. I do actually really like the overall look with often a more casual shirt on top, my skirt, then a blazer, and then my boots. Here, sometimes I'll also not wear a type of jacket at all with this type of fit. And then I'll just, depending on the weather, throw on my winter coat or my trench coat on top. Obviously, these types of long line coats that I use for winter coats are just less casual and more preppy, but since, again, I feel like this is where my look is mostly at, I'm, I don't really feel like I need a very casual overcoat. Like, if I want to balance that out, again, I do so with, like, jeans or something I consider, like, a casual top or even sneakers. A skirt is also something I use to again, dress up, like for example, if I was to go out with girlfriends for drinks or something like that, rather than my dress pants. I do really like the look of 
dress pants but I feel like when I do then wear a nicer shirt or a nicer top that can very quickly look kind of business like like if I want to wear like a button up or just one of my other nice tops like it does work but it looks a little bit more again business attire rather than just dressed up going out attire in my opinion so I do feel like the skirt is somewhere right in the middle where it's less casual but all of this with the skirt with a casual top still super everyday appropriate but then going out in the night it still works just as well but if I want to what I will sometimes do in this instance is add a nicer top on top this is usually how I will go out and then I'll still maybe at the blazer or not. This is also dependent on the place I will go out. Like I said, Zurich is kind of like a preppy city. So I hardly if ever feel out of place in like a blazer. But if I go full like blazer, dress pants, nice top, boots, it is too much for me personally. So what I then do instead is like I wear yeah either my skirt or I will wear jeans if I go somewhere more casual so it's really all about for me like whenever I put something preppy in because I feel like that fits my look better if it's too much I will usually swap it out for the casual fit that I feel most comfortable in here for me being jeans or being just like a casual top rather than being like a more casual jacket or sneakers. I'm mentioning that because I feel like a couple of years ago I would have always gotten with the sneaker to bring my outfit back down to like a more casual place where now because I've grown so fond of boots I do sort of need something else to balance out now that my sneakers no longer do so if you are a sneakerhead this might be the perfect balance for you to have a more dressed up look while still keeping it down to earth to the degree that you want to so to put it in another way like my preppy priority is usually boots where my casual priority is usually jeans so i will very often end up with a combination of the two another preppy priority is usually the jacket which is also why I like to wear more casual just very basic tops and then usually only wear more interesting tops when I'm actually going out to do something and outside all of that I feel like color also plays a very big role you can definitely look dressed up in colors but since I'm someone who either has a lot of nudes or muted colors, the few colors I have as part of my color scheme, they are very like light and flirty, like my blue and my pink. And in my opinion, it doesn't necessarily look super dressed up. Like it definitely can, but I do try to keep like my preppier pieces in darker or more muted colors like I don't just feel like that makes more sense it gives off that type of look where I feel like when I wear something with more color it usually comes across as more casual this is not really like a fixed rule I just feel like it's a tendency within my wardrobe at the very least I track what I wear every day and usually I end up having to track like more than I can wear at once because if I'm doing something during the day, I come home and I go back out, I'll very often swap something out for something nicer. Like if I've been in a somewhat casual attire all day, I might very well go home and like add a skirt or add a blazer or put on my slightly taller boot rather than my casual boots because then of course there also is dressing up or down casual versus preppy like within a category so I do have boots that are slightly more dressed up and then I do have something that is like my everyday boots so I would call these like the sneakers of my boots but uh, yeah they still get the preppy stamp and another thing where I also feel like there's like a balance within its range can also be something like handbags as of right now I only have two like actual handbags one of them is quite dressed up in my opinion it's black for starters and the shape is very sleek it has these silver studs on the bottom and i've had this bag for years it's an old alexander wang thing and i only recently added something else that i can now also wear when i go out and it is this camel bag it's also a handbag sized bag but i actually find this to be very casual so like whether i wear one bag or the other with the same outfit will also 
have a say in whether I dress something up or down. So for example, the camel bag, in my opinion, because of its color, is a little bit less dressed up, but also the shape is a bit more casual. It looks a little bit like some sort of saddle bag or has this sort of like everyday equestrian look to it. This was a bit of a longer version or a breakdown of something that is actually very simple, at least when it comes to my personal wardrobe. So again, like really simplified, literally just like I'll add a black blazer or I'll add a red lipstick or I'll go home and put on my nice boots. And then of course there's all the picking in between these things, but Honestly, these three things could have done it. That's pretty much it. That was my video on how I dress up or down within my own wardrobe. I hope that you liked it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know it really does help out my channel. And if you're here for the first time, not already subscribed, then consider doing that because I make videos like this one all the time and I would love to keep you around. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.